everybody. Today's recipe is Dakgalbi, spicy grilled chicken and vegetables. In Korea, city of Chuncheon is very famous for Dakgalbi. That's why we call this also Chuncheon Dakgalbi. Let's start. I'm going to use chicken drumstick. But if you like chicken breast, it works well. Cut this until you contact the bone. And on the left side, like this. And right side. And then you can see, lift these bones and insert your tip of knife like this. See? Done. Easy, easy. Very quickly, you can debone. And also bones boil this a lot of water and a long time. And then it's going to be a, like a good stock you can make it. And also, if you don't like the skin, just remove this way. And nice big chunk of meat. This one is already, I measured one pound. And then I'm going to cut into like small pieces, the bite size. Let's season this with one tablespoon soy sauce and half teaspoon ground black pepper and mix this. I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator. And now we are going to make seasoning sauces. First, garlic, lots of garlic. You can use a dozen of garlic, but I will use today 10, 10 garlic cloves and this around one tablespoon amount of ginger. Quarter cup gochujang, hot pepper paste. This is one third cup. One third cup, probably you guys are, ooh, you're spicy. But actually Korean hot pepper flakes, this one is, a, I use also mild hot pepper flakes. Color should be the real red color. It makes it really appetizing. So one third cup hot pepper flakes. Two tablespoons soy sauce. And then one teaspoon kosher salt. This is a medium, so I sometimes I use this. Uh, medium is cooking wine. You can get this at Korean grocery store. If you don't have a medium, just use uh, water and a little one teaspoon sugar and mix it together. Done. I did one minute. Wow, very good consistency. I just all pre-washed these vegetables in colorful and also rice cake. And also this is a sweet Korean sweet potato, but you can use any, any type of sweet potato too. This is a special grill and it's for Dakgalbi. I bought this in LA, it's in the Korean restaurant supply store. And once I found this, I was so happy, excited. Oh my God, I should do some Dakgalbi video. Don't worry, if you don't have this, you can get any pan, frying pan, or wide shallow you know, skillet, so you can use this. I'm going to use one pound of cabbage. Remove the core like this. Large chunk. It looks really a large amount, but when it cooks, they shrunk. Medium size onion. One or two green chili pepper. This pepper is really big, so I'm using one. And then rice cake. This is around one cup. Wow. 
바이트 사이즈 음. When I was young, I used to eat the sweet potato just as a snack. Especially cold winter time. So delicious. We need this guy. This is a bakalbi. Without this, I cannot make this. This is perilla leaves. It's a necessary ingredient. When I was living in Toronto, I used to go to my favorite bakalbi place. Oh, what is it like it makes this bakalbi special? This is, you know, perilla leaves. What do you expect? I put this in the center. Tell me. <laughs> I know that you guys got the answer. I will bring from my refrigerator. Let's cook. Usually we cook this at the table and then we just waiting until they cook and then of course we talk and eat other appetizers and meanwhile it's going to be cooked. I'm going to lower the heat and then cover this. So you see? Wow, sizzling, sizzling. When the potato is cooked, that means you can start eating. Rice cake, this is a tteokbokki. Mmm. So let's taste the chicken. Soft, tender, oh, so juicy. Leftover sauce. Always we Koreans finish our meal with rice. I'm going to show you how to do our finale with rice. If we don't have kimchi, never mind. It will still turn out delicious. And put it here. Pretend that we are eating at the you know, table and then all these delicious things are gone. But still we are excited about the, some bokumba. This sauce plus kimchi, it will make really bokumba tasty. So roast both sides like this. The bowls, individual bowl. Mm. Today we made takgalbi, spicy grilled chicken and vegetables. What a satisfying meal! So you guys make this takgalbi and share with your family and friends, and it will make a wonderful, wonderful party. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.